a 1 billion LLM really beat a 405 billion LLM? Sounds crazy, right? But that's exactly what this new research explores. Instead of building bigger and bigger AI models, what if we made smarter use of compute at test time? This paper looks into different test time scaling strategies, like best of N, beam search, and diverse verifier tree search. The key is process reward models that guide inference, helping even a 1 billion model outthink a 405 billion beast on math challenges. So size isn't everything. Smarter test time compute can flip the AI game on its head. Now let's dive in. When LLMs hit their limits, one way to boost performance is by adding more computation at test time. This is called test time scaling or TTS. To clarify, in this video, TTS refers to test time scaling, not text to speech. This paper explores whether smaller models, like a 1 billion parameter model, can outperform massive ones, such as a 405 billion parameter model using TTS. The authors test this on two benchmarks, Math 500 and AIME 24. They found that optimized TTS lets smaller models punch above their weight. For example, a 1B model beats a 405B model on MA-500, and a 0.5B model outperforms GPT-40. Look at figure 1. It shows bar charts comparing models with and without TTS. The results are striking. Compute optimal TTS consistently outperforms expectations, sometimes surpassing much larger models. This isn't a minor tweak it's a game changer. Instead of scaling model size, we should scale computation smarter. Why is TTS such a big deal? LLMs have advanced significantly, but simply making them bigger isn't always the best approach. TTS lets smaller models think harder at test time. There are two types of TTS. First, internal TTS slows down reasoning, often using methods like chain of thought prompting. Second, external TTS, uses search or sampling techniques without modifying the model. The challenge is efficiently distributing compute. How much extra processing should a model do per problem? Most TTS methods use process reward models, or PRMs, to guide generation. However, there's limited analysis of how policy models, PRMs, and problem difficulty impact TTS effectiveness. This paper addresses that gap. Experiments on Math 500 and AIME 24 show that even tiny models like a 1B model can outperform a 405B model. A 7B model even beats state-of-the-art reasoning models like O1 and DeepSeq-R1. The takeaway? TTS is a powerful tool for leveling the playing field. To understand TTS, think of it as a Markov decision process, MDP. The model navigates a maze, it starts in a state, takes an action, moves to a new state, and earns a reward based on its move. This repeats until it reaches a final answer. At each step, the model picks an action, like choosing a word or equation, based on its learned policy. The next state combines the previous state and the new action. The challenge is allocating computation optimally at each step. Check out figure two. It shows three search methods. First, best of n generates multiple responses and picks the best one using scoring and voting. Second, Beam Search expands multiple answers at each step, keeping only the best paths. Third, Diverse Verifier Tree Search, or DVTS, enhances Beam Search by adding verification steps for more diverse and accurate results. The key takeaway? Search methods matter. Choosing the right one can make small models perform surprisingly well. Now let's discuss DVTS, a smarter way to allocate computation. Unlike traditional beam search, DVTS splits the search into subtrees, enabling more diverse responses. Studies show this outperforms simply widening the beam. But scaling compute optimally isn't just about search, it's also about how rewards shape behavior. The key equation here selects hyperparameters to maximize correctness, optimizing decisions within a fixed compute budget. Here's the catch. Not all PRMs are equal. Non-policy PRMs, trained on the same model they evaluate, give more accurate scores. Off-policy PRMs, trained on different models, often struggle with out-of-distribution responses, leading to errors. Rewards influence everything, from response selection to search exploration. The paper runs a case study using beam search with different PRMs. Some PRMs favor shorter, incorrect answers, while others prioritize correctness but use more compute. The lesson? Choosing the right PRM is as crucial as the search strategy. Let's talk about problem difficulty. 
A common approach uses quantiles grouping problems by accuracy rankings. But this paper argues that's ineffective because models have varying reasoning capabilities. Instead, they propose an absolute threshold approach. Easy problems have high accuracy, medium problems have moderate accuracy, and hard problems have very low accuracy. Look at figure three. It shows a large model's accuracy distribution on Math 500. Most problems, 76.2%, achieve over 80% accuracy, suggesting absolute categories are more reliable than relative quantiles, which vary across models. This ties into reward-aware compute optimal scaling. The equation here refines TTS by incorporating a reward function, optimizing not just correctness, but what's actually rewarded. Finally, the section, how to scale test time compute optimally, raises three questions. How does TTS vary across models? How does it handle different problem difficulties? Do reward models introduce biases? like favoring shorter answers? These are explored next. To evaluate TTS, the study uses MA Thash 500 and AIME 24, two math reasoning benchmarks. Math 500 is a standard, while AIME 24 pushes models further. The researchers use instruction-tuned LAMA 3 and QN 2.5 models, optimized for following commands. A key element is how process reward models, or PRMs, judge outputs. These are separate models trained to score answers. Several PRMs are tested, including Math Shepard, RLH Flow, Skywork, and QN 2.5 Math PRMs. QN 2.5 Math PRM 72B is the strongest for math tasks. But how do we pick the best answer? Scoring assigns rewards to responses using strategies like lowest reward across steps, last step reward, or averaging. Voting then selects the winner. Majority vote picks the most frequent response, while PRM Max and PRM Vote use scoring to choose the highest rated answer. The takeaway? PRMs and voting strategies significantly impact results. Evaluation is as important as generation. Scaling test time compute isn't just about adding power, it's about choosing the right tools. This section examines how different PRMs and policy models perform with extra compute. Check out figures 4 and 5. They compare LLAMA 3.1 to 8B and QN2.5-7B on Math 500 and AIME 24. The key takeaway? Not all PRMs generalize well. Skywork and QN 2.5 math PRMs benefit from extra compute, but Math Shepard and RLH Flow struggle, sometimes underperforming majority voting. The results highlight a challenge. PRMs aren't universal. Search-based TTS depends heavily on the PRM. Some guide reasoning effectively, others introduce errors, making extra compute ineffective. A surprising finding. Best of N often outperforms search-based methods with weaker PRMs like Math Shepard and RLH Flow. When PRMs are unreliable, simple voting-based strategies may be better than complex search algorithms. The lesson? More compute isn't always better. It depends on the PRM guiding the process. Choosing the right PRM is crucial for TTS, but not all PRMs work equally well. Some generalize better, others fail with out-of-distribution responses. Look at figure six. It shows PRMs with stronger process supervision lead to better TTS performance. The issue? PRMs aren't trained equally. QN 2.5, Math 7 BPRMs generalize better than those trained on Llama or Mistral. But if a PRM struggles with out-of-distribution responses, it can lead to suboptimal answers or trap the model in local optima. Figure 7 shows how model sizes react to TTS. Smaller models, 0.5b to 3b, need PRMs for step-by-step -step decisions. Search-based strategies like Beam Search and DVTS work best for them. Larger models, 32b to 72b, don't need as much supervision. Best of N becomes more effective. The takeaway? Smaller models need guidance. Larger models need smart selection. PRMs must be chosen carefully. Otherwise, more compute won't improve performance. Not all problems are equal, and TTS strategies handle difficulty levels differently. Look at figure eight. It categorizes problems into easy, medium, and hard. The key takeaway? Best of N works best for easy problems. Beam search excels on harder ones. For small models, less than 7B, Best of N is strong for easy problems, but beam search works better as difficulty increases. For mid-sized models, 7B to 32B, DVTS shines on easier and medium tasks, but beam search is best for hard problems. For large models, 72B, Best of N outperforms across all difficulty levels. 
Table 1 reveals another issue. PRMs can bias response length. DeepSeq-PRM produces longer responses than Mistral-PRM, affecting computational efficiency. The lesson? TTS strategy depends on problem difficulty and PRM selection. Compute alone isn't enough. Voting methods significantly impact TTS performance, but PRMs react differently. Check out Table 2. It compares Skywork PRM7B and QN2.5 Math-PRM7B across voting strategies. QN2.5 Math PRM7B is stable across methods. Skywork PRM7B is sensitive, performing well only with PRM vote. This sensitivity stems from PRM training. QN 2.5 Math-PRM7B uses an LLM as a judge approach, filtering incorrect steps for consistent outputs. Skywork-PRM7B lacks this filtering, making voting methods more impactful. The page also introduces compute-optimal TTS scaling, raising key questions. Can small models outperform GPT-40? How does TTS compare to chain of thought and majority voting? Is TTS more effective than long-chain caught methods? These are explored next. Can a tiny model outperform GPT-40 with the right compute strategy? This page suggests yes. Look at Table 3. It shows compute optimal TTS lets small models punch above their weight. First, LLAMA 3.2 to 3B with TTS beats LAMA minus 3.1-405B, 135x smaller model outperforming a giant. Compared to prior work, this improves efficiency by 487%. Second, QN 2.5 to 0.5 B outperforms GPT-40 on tested datasets. A 0.5 B model competing with one of the best AI models. Third, DeepSeq R1, Distill QN 7 B surpasses O1 and DeepSeq R1, showing TTS's impact at inference. This raises a key question. Is TTS more efficient than scaling model size? The next section explores flops comparisons. Smaller models can outthink larger ones with smart compute allocation. Check out Table 4. Llama 3.2 to 3B uses nearly 1,000x fewer flops than Llama minus 3.1-405B, yet TTS closes the performance gap. Table 5 shows TTS boosts reasoning performance by over 150% compared to chain of thought, and is up to 256x more efficient than majority voting. But there's a twist. Small models gain massively from TTS. Large models see smaller gains. A 1B model benefits hugely. A 72B model improves only slightly. This suggests TTS helps weaker models more. The last section introduces long cop methods like RSTAR math, EURUS2, and simple RL which enhance reasoning with search, rewards, and self-reflection. The big question, how does TTS compare to these advanced techniques? How do we improve reasoning without retraining? Compute-optimal TTS is one answer. Look at Table 6. It shows TTS often beats long coat methods like RSTAR math and EURUS2 on Math 500, but on complex datasets like AIME24, TTS struggles. One reason? Distilling knowledge from stronger models still matters. DeepSeq R1, Distill-QN7B, trained on 800K high-quality samples, outperforms TTS on AIME24. TTS alone can't replace training from superior models, but maximizes efficiency. The discussion covers past approaches like majority voting, search-based methods, and reward-guided strategies. Unlike these, TTS focuses on efficient compute allocation, adapting dynamically without external reward models. Finally, improving math reasoning in LLMs has two paths, training better models or optimizing inference with TTS. Can TTS help weaker models close the reasoning gap? The paper concludes with a discussion on test time compute scaling for LLMs. The core takeaway? The right TTS strategies let smaller models compete with or outperform larger ones, improving efficiency without sacrificing quality. One major finding. A 1B model achieves performance similar to a 405B model when optimized. This suggests smarter test time strategies are more practical than scaling model size. Another key insight. A 7B reward model can supervise a 72B model, challenging the assumption that stronger models need equally strong supervision. A weak to strong approach might be more efficient than strong to weak, but better supervision methods are needed. 
limitations and future directions are acknowledged. While the study focuses on math reasoning, similar techniques could apply to coding and chemistry. Better compute optimal strategies are also needed. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day.